Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Feel free to subscribe and hit the notification bell down below if you're interested in my content. Today I'm just doing another second week check-in for everybody that is staying home right now or stuck in their homes due to the crap that's going on. Um, just want to make sure everybody out there is okay. I already filmed this once as like a get ready with me and as I was editing it down, it was just taking way too long. Like nobody's going to watch the video because it's like over half an hour. So I figured to just scrap that and I was just going to do it this way quick. So I'll just go over how my week went, make sure everybody else is doing all right out there, find out some information from you and have that be that. So if you want to chat about how your week was, well, pretty much listen to me chat about mine and then answer if you want to, <laughs> then stick around. I pretty much have this huge notebook full of stuff, just keeping notes on how my week was because I do like to be thorough. I like forget everything anymore so <laughs> I don't really know I have to write everything down so Tuesday was basically my white flag day it was the day my other video went up my last week's weekly check-in and it was just chaos basically it was just the little one he is just gonna be the death of us all he's just into everything he was falling down he was trying to go down the stairs all by himself he dumped an entire crushed up bag of crackers that he crushed all over my brand new freshly made bed he has been chalking the dog food into the dog water. He fell over when he was in the living room with my husband right before bed. I literally had his bottle in my hand to take him up to bed. And he toppled over a chair head first onto a freaking like little side table thing and then onto the floor. So we had this huge like bump right here. It was cut open. I was like, well, there goes bedtime because you're not going to sleep now. Huge. He was not happy about that. He decided to check my one daughter's glow track car down the stairs. So that just kind of went like, Phew. so I fixed that as best as I could. It's a good thing she's not like sentimental about like all of her items because it's not the best. I don't know if I can actually 100% fix that thing now. Um, he tried to pull the piano bunch down on his legs. So that would have really sucked. It would have hurt a lot. Yeah, it's just been like, wow. And then the governor was like, oh, well, you're going to have like a one month stay home order issued. So now you all get to stay in your houses for a whole entire freaking month after the already week, week and a half ish of being off already. So yay. <laughs> Wednesday, I ended up, I was getting the girl snacks and I was in the cupboard getting a bowl. I know I shut the cupboard. I walked out to go do something really quick. It was like two minutes later, maximum. Came back in, I went right to the cupboard on the other side of the kitchen, grabbed the box of crackers out, turned around, I wasn't paying attention, I was just looking at the box, and I mean, I like, just right in to the freaking handle of our cupboard door because it was open. Somebody opened it and didn't shut it, and it's like a hard metal handle, and I'm so short, it was just like, bam, like right here, I had this like big mark right here. So me and my son matched for like, you know, a good couple of days because he had the big bump on his head. I had the big bump on my head. It was awesome. Just a wonderful freaking start to the couple of days in the week. Um, we had to go through and set up for school for this week because our official start date for homeschooling started yesterday. Today is Tuesday where I'm filming this. I don't know if it's going up today or tomorrow. Um, so yeah, we had to do that. My oldest daughter had literally like 20 emails that we had to go through from all of her teachers and her principal just going over everything that was going on and oh my god and then my youngest they had us actually pick up their stuff um a couple weeks ago and they sent home one week's worth of stuff because we had assumed they were going back so i had a whole week bundle worth of papers and books and everything that she had to have that we had to separate because they separated them into the days on a calendar thing i have on the wall i don't know just makes it easier to grab the file out and say, okay, here's Tuesday. So we did all that. And honestly, this has less homework to do than the middle daughter. She's got so much more to do. I'm like, is this ridiculous or what? So they've been working on that yesterday. It went well. There's just a little bit of a breakdown in the middle of it over math, but the new math is just ridiculous. I kind of Amazon shopped a little bit because... I can't go to a regular store to shop and I'm in one of my like little high moods right now so I like want to go spend money. It's really hard not to. I fight it all the time but now I can just online shop. So <laughs> I went on Amazon and I got a weighted hula hoop because I need to like work on my core a little bit more. I've lost like 17 pounds. I just gotta tone it up a little bit. And I got a new water bottle 
it's really cute. I'll insert a little photo here for you on that. And I had to buy a book for my daughter because they sent home her homework, but they forgot the book. So it was like a $5 book. Judy Bloom it was like one of the only ones we don't have by her. So I was like, what up? My husband's been working on Saturdays. So he uh, works in agriculture. So it's an essential business because, you know, if you don't have agriculture, you don't have food or anything like that. So he kind of has to go to work to be able to fix all the machines. And yeah, so he's been doing that. I've been cleaning and trying to get a bunch of stuff done around the house and organizing and I don't feel like I'm getting anywhere. <laughs> Emotionally, I've been doing pretty good. Um, I only had a couple days where I cried and was angry and, you know, just the regular crap. But otherwise, it's been going pretty well. Um, yeah, today is the second day of schooling for the girls. Like I said, yesterday went pretty well. Today, I separated them. I did one in the morning, one in the afternoon because trying to do both of them at the same time just wasn't working. My oldest, too, vegged out on Minecraft for about four hours on Friday night. And I was just like, shh, I don't care. My husband and I were vegging out on our uh, American Pickers we've been watching lately. So it was just kind of a lazy day on Friday evening. Um, and then Sunday we did a no electronics for the kids. Like, we had the TV on or whatever because my husband and I were watching whatnot. It's like his only relaxing day. So that's why we usually binge out on TV. And, yeah, so they had no electronics. They weren't happy about it, but we aren't really like, we don't have tablets or anything like that. They just kind of play games on our phones or we have like a bunch of game systems, but we don't play too much on them lately. And that's about it. So that's all they really get to do. Um, so yeah, they didn't get to do any of that. So they were like putting puzzles together and building with their, what do you call those thingies? I don't even know what the heck they're called. Tinker toys, building a whole bunch of crazy crap. They were doing like inventions and having me judge who did the best invention for some crazy shit. Like, they really had this. <sighs> I can't even. <laughs> My daughter invented this thing where you just kind of put your arm up on the thing so you can scratch your knee without having to hold your arm up. <laughs> I'm like, are you kidding me? And they all had like some crazy massager thing for the leg. And I don't know, it was kind of funny. So they were doing a whole bunch of that, and yeah, it was pretty much like a family day on that day, which is nice to have every once in a while. So homeschooling's going pretty well so far. Um, emotionally, I'm doing pretty well, and just a couple of the breakdowns. I am a little bit like starting to feel it that I'm stuck at home. I mean, I'm stuck at home all the time. I should be used to it, but now I've got more kids added into the mix, and I know I'm stuck at home. Like, I can't just say, okay, I'm going out. I have to be here. So that makes it a little bit more difficult, like, you know, mentally, I'm like, so that, and then like the baby's really clingy and just wants to constantly be held or be with me. I'm just like, I just need some time. You know, I'm stuck with them all the time. I just need some, some time away from you kids. So that's getting a little bit difficult, but otherwise I feel like I'm surviving so far pretty well, a lot better than I think I could be, than I normally would be. I feel like I'm more uplifted right now so I don't feel like I'm gonna have a freaking breakdown which normally I would I want to make sure that everybody out there is doing all right um check in with all of you make sure that you have somebody to talk to if you don't have somebody to talk to my screen name is right here all you gotta do is look me up if you don't already follow me message me I can talk it's not a big deal it's just between us just like I did last week um make sure that you're not you know standing in a corner crying or hiding in the bathroom bawling your eyes out or anything like that because i know it can be emotional when you're stuck home especially if you have children and you know they're just all up on you i know it's hard um just want to make sure that everybody has somebody that they can at least go to to say hey i need a friend or you know because i know it's lonely right now um just want to make sure everything's going all right with homeschooling with all you moms out there homeschooling or dads out there homeschooling it's important to check in on everybody. Make sure if you have anybody out there that you feel could be lonely, you check on them too because this is a terrible time for people with depression and anxiety. It makes you crazy not having anybody to talk to even more than you already didn't. So, yeah, I just wanted to do a check-in. And, yeah, I feel like it's going pretty well this last week. So, week two, technically, um, went well. Week two for us. I know some of you have been in lockdown longer. But this is now all the third week we are going into. So, yep. Make sure you let me know that you are okay down below. 
Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Get my content out there. And don't forget, I have a giveaway going on. Go check that one out if you haven't already and enter for that. Lots and lots of items. 31 of them in total. So it's a big one. I'm going to check off because I have more homework to do with the little one. She's doing ABC Mouse. So not really homework, but you know, she thinks it is. So I will talk to you all later. I hope you have a fantastic day. Don't forget to let me know what's going on in your life.